Good morning. Happy two for Tuesday as we're sipping from our mug. Get yourself a, a little Green Bay Tears focus. There we go. Now, now it'll come back to me. And also, I know that the lighting has been kind of wonky, wonky donkey the last couple days. Uh, it's mainly because when we have the windows open in the day, uh, the, the snow has weird reflection. But I realize that this looks like a hostage video right now. It's like, please tell my family and loved ones that I am fine as I try to send Morse code to my blinking. Anyway, obviously it sucks that you have your RB1, RB2 down for the count uh, with an injury. Potentially might be getting them back, but it did on Sunday give an opportunity to fan favor Mike Boone, the marvelous Mike Boone, and he made the most of his opportunities. So let's talk about the former Bearcat today, next man up. Also talk about you subscribing, coming along for Daily Vikings Takes. Sound very Canadian right there. Talk about you come along daily like this takes also the drums another like is already hidden helps new people find the show and also can we get to 20k by 2020 can we do that it, it would be very kismet because what we have uh, 15 days left uh, 14 days left in uh 2019 i think we can do that uh, we're at 19 5 ish now so let's keep on growing and showing also like us on twitch as well as the facebook -a. All right, so Mike Boone, uh, just recapping him, uh, UDFA last year out of Cincinnati, 5'10", 206. And remember, he was a combine wizard, had an insane 42-inch vertical, as well as an 11'7", inch broad jump, which is explosive. So, so he's got that short air explosiveness going on. Also a former high school wide receiver, and he was the star of the preseason for each of the past two uh, seasons. In 2018, as a rookie, he went for 49 carries, a buck 95, and a touchdown. And then this year, he went 41 carries, 196 yards, two touchdowns, 4.8 yards per carry, which is pretty robusto, as well as had 10 catches for 88 yards. So he was showing a uh, yes against twos and threes and guys who would be working at, at Walmart and IHOP right now. But uh, he was showing that he had a lot of explosiveness and has a lot of talent. And I actually compared it to... Yesterday, I compared it to Raheem Mostert uh, out in San Francisco, where you know, he's buried on the depth chart for so long, uh, although he was a stud in preseason for uh, a number of years. But then he was behind Jarek McKinnon. Uh, unfortunately, he got hurt two years in a row. Come back, Jarek. Uh, and then he got Tevin Coleman coming in with Shanahan. And then he also got Matt Breida. And then he got Raheem. Raheem. And then he finally got his chance, and he blew up. I, I think Mike Boone is taking on a mini version of this. And even with... Um, even with strong so shows in preseason the uh, last two years, I mean, last year he split time with Rock Thomas uh, on the bench last year. They carried both of them on the 53-man roster. Uh, this year, uh, they drafted Alexander Mass in the third round, which is a great get, by the way, because uh, it was a fantastic pick, uh, as well as they, they bring different skill sets to the table for running back. But then they kept Amir Abdullah, which Amir Abdullah, Mike Boone, the skills greatly overlap, a little bit redundant on the roster. Uh, but So Boone was buried on the depth chart, RB4. No big deal. But I love and respect what he's done. Like, he's been uh, active every single game, and he's been playing great on special teams, just doing whatever he can to help this team, just coming at it quiet, coming at it humble, and just rocking it out there. I mean, he's played on 201 total special team snaps heading into the Chargers game, which is roughly 60%. And also, he's made a couple of nice tackles uh, as a punt gunner, as well as on kickoff coverage. So he's contributing uh, any way that he can. Love that about him. And then last week, Boone got a little run in garbage time against Detroit. Five carries for 13 yards. And then Sunday, bloody Sunday, uh, against the Chargers, uh, Madison already out uh, pregame with the ankle. And then Dalvin goes down. And then Boone came in and did his damn thing. It was amazing. 13 carries, 56 yards, and his first two career rushing touchdowns. Also had a gang of yards called back via penalties on the O-line. Uh, but... Yeah, it's just really impressive what Mike Boone was doing against the Chargers starters uh, there in the second half. And also, you know, we've talked that he is a great fit in the in the outside zone blocking scheme. Uh, I think his vision, which you know was a knock, one of the knock on him was coming out of Cincinnati, he just sort of ran with athletic Billy. I think has greatly improved. He's matured uh, working with uh, running backs coach Kenny Palomalu. So now, boom, you can see that cutback lane. And we know he can hit it, put that foot in the ground and go, as he did on that first touchdown. So, uh, also, yeah, and he is super dangerous in the passing game. You know, line him up uh, wide against a linebacker or a safety. It's game over. It's game over. I dare you. Bring it on. And so that's what we said yesterday. If Donovan does end up missing some time, Alexander Madison potentially too, yeah, I'm not overly worried about the running game with Boone. But yes, Boone is not Dalvin Cook for sure, but also I think he has enough shimmy to keep the Packers' defense honest. Also, it's going to be able to set up play action, and the Vikings' running game will not grind to a halt, You know, especially uh, with how the Vikings' offensive line has played as of late. So it's not a, 
uh, Adrian Peterson down to Toby Gerhardt down to Seatric Faison, you know, type situation. No, it's like Dalvin, Madison, Boone, let's go. Let's take that. All right, your thoughts? The Marvelous Mike Boone, let us know in the comment section below. Also, subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. If you want to support the work, pull us up on the Venmo. Plus, give us a follow on social media as well. Well, until next time, Skull, production value.